In this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror your Android screen or your Windows screen on the Roku. Roku just updated their devices so you can actually mirror your Android screen or your Windows screen on the big screen using Roku. This just came out on Roku devices and for, for Android, you do need a tablet or a smartphone running Android 4.2 or above before this will work. So if you have Android 4.2 or below, this will not work. Jellybean 4.2 or above to work. Windows PCs need Windows 8.1 to work. And Windows phones are supported, but I don't know what version you need or what not. I don't really know about Windows phones, but Windows phones... Windows PCs and Android phones and tablets are supported. So that's what you need to get this running. And just before I show you how to do this, you do need a Roku 3 or a Roku streaming sticks. Roku 1 and Roku 2 are not supported. I don't know why those aren't supported, but the streaming stick and Roku 3 is supported. So 1 and 2 are not supported. So if you have 1 or 2, Roku you might as well just turn this video off because this is kind of useless to you so Roku streaming stick and Roku 3's will work so anyway I'm going to show you how to actually get this set up and running now from the main menu of your Roku go down to settings and in settings go down to system update and click on check now if it says your Roku player software is up to date then you're good to go if it says something else just let it up download or whatever it's doing and it should say software version 5.6. You need 5.6 or higher for this to work. So in the future, if you're watching this video, Roku may be on a higher version, but you do need 5.6 or higher to actually work. So just look at the software version to tell. And if you don't, you can click check now and actually download the latest software. Because I think this just came out two days ago. So you may not have it or you may have it. Just now rolling out. Now, while you're in settings, Go up until you see until you see screen mirroring. It is a new feature, screen mirroring, and it is still in beta. So you will you will or may get a lot of bugs, glitches, connection er connection errors. It's not 100% good. It's not 100% in its final version. It is still in beta. So take it as it is. It may still be glitchy, buggy, whatever. But you can still test it out. And I'm gonna go show you how to do that. So. Click on screen mirroring and just click on enable screen mirroring and it does tell you what you can do with your smartphone tablet or PC. It does tell you what all you can do and you can actually disable it but you might as well just keep it on just in case you want to actually use your smartphone tablet PC to actually mirror to your TV using your Roku. It'll be there all the time and I don't think it will really affect your Roku so just leave it on at all times whether you're using it or not so the next time you connect you already know it's actually enabled. Make sure it says uh, enable screen mirroring with the check mark on it and you're good to go. And then uh, I think you can actually be anywhere in the Roku player you don't have to be in a specific spot you can even be watching a channel and it should still come up but I'm just going to use the home menu for an example now going back to my uh, smartphone I am using a smartphone specifically Samsung now what you do is at least on mine you go into the notification tray and in the notification tray you actually go to screen mirroring it should be a little toggle or you might have to actually add the toggle but in Samsung devices, or at least my Samsung device, it is a little toggle in the notification tray called screen mirroring. Once you click that, it will broadcast your Android screen to the big screen. And uh, once you click on screen mirroring, it will ask you what Roku you're using. So if you have multiple Rokus, like Roku 3s or streaming sticks in the house, it will ask you which one to connect. At least for the first time, once you've connected to one, you won't have to re you won't have to keep reconnecting it automatically saves the last Roku you've used in its memory so once you click screen mirroring it automatically connects to the last Roku you are using but again you can choose which Roku you want to use if you want to change rooms or something like that you can choose but it automatically connects to the last Roku you are using so once I click it it's automatically going to connect So there it is, it's connecting, and here's what it looks like on the big screen. 
Now, if you actually want it to be full screen on the big screen, you will have to rotate your device into landscape. This is portrait mode, so you do have to be in landscape mode if you want it to be full screen on the TV with the with the with the the with the device just being in the middle. So that's it. I'm gonna change that in a second, but as you can see right here, it is fairly smooth. As you can see, it is a little bit choppy from the TV as you can clearly see it's a little bit choppy but not too bad for being in beta it's running pretty well for being in beta now I'm gonna be doing some tests before I head out on here I'm gonna be doing some gameplay I'm gonna be doing some browser tests and I am going to be doing some video playback on YouTube so you can actually uh, see how it actually works and if you're wondering so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is going to the Chrome browser and doing a simple search I'm just gonna search a general a general website CNN that's a general website and as you can see it looks like it's doing a very good job of mirroring my smartphone now I am gonna turn the screen I am gonna turn the screen into landscape mode so it'll pull up the screen and there's what it looks like pulling up the screen the right side and the left side is a little bit chopped off but it's not bad at all so on your smartphone it does look a little bit better in terms of uh, not being chopped off. But to be warned it may just be my TV so don't take that as it is. It may depend on what size your TV is and it, what ratio your TV is and whatnot. But it may look fine on your TV but the sides of mine like the CNN and the weather are a little bit chopped off. But it may just be my TV so don't take it as the Roku being, being at fault for this. It may just be my TV. Now as you can see scrolling on this is not the best but it does work. It is a definitely a usable a usable experience for web browsing, I must say. Like I said, there's still a slight delay on web browsing as I'm scrolling up and down the screen on my uh, Android device. It is actually very smooth, but on the screen it is kind of choppy, but I must say this is still very good if you wanted to show something to your friends or put something up on the big screen this will get the job done and I'm actually very surprised at the experience as it is it'll only get better over time as Roku updates the beta and gets out of beta and actually makes it a full working thing it will be better but for right now it is what it is and it's working fairly well I must say actually and then I will just go to uh, another web page to show you pins and zoom so you can see what pins and zoom looks like I'm just going to do a generic search for cars. And here's uh, what Pint and Zoom looks like as soon as the page loads. Okay. Pint and Zoom looks works pretty well, well but <laughs> what's that random? Okay, just kind of went berserk right there. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. Not 100% smooth, it's not going as fast as my smartphone in my hand, but it's still very good, I must say, for being a beta. So overall, web browsing is pretty usable at this time, even in beta form. As you've seen that, I will uh, do gaming next, so you can see actually how an actual game loads on Android, or plays on screen mirroring. I'm just going to do a generic game you all heard of. It's uh, Subway Surfers. I'm just going to use that as this demo. Now this is my first time actually playing a game on here. So I don't know how it's actually going to play. And if the sound's going to be synced up or anything. Okay, you are getting sound on here. That's very, very cool. And the sound is working. It's not choppy. It's not laggy. The sound is pretty much what you'd expect from the cell phone to your base room. So the sound is very, very good. It's the same thing as your cell phone. You can't notice any delay, any lag, any choppiness, anything bad about the sound. The sound is nice. I don't know if you noticed it there, but the little surfer guy was actually kind of laggy or jolting around a little bit. See? You can see it's kind of like laggy a little bit from there. Once I tap to play, we will actually know how it's actually going to play on the screen. Okay, as you can clearly see on the screen, it is laggy, and I must say, right there, from me dying, you cannot play a game on here. This is a very CPU-like game, and it's, it is already starting to lag. There's enough lag, I cannot play that. 
I'm not purposely hitting the subway cards. It's just so laggy that it's really unplayable. But like I said, over time, this should get better and it should be usable. But at this state, you cannot actually play a game on this. If you played any game that's better than this, I must say you would have problems. To be fair, you can actually play this game, but you will have to look down at your cell phone. This is actually a pretty good thing, but it's only good if you wanted to watch some, have someone watch you play a game. If you're looking down at your cell phone and you're actually uh, posting it up on the big screen. But if you're trying to play it from the big screen, it lags a lot. The only reason I'm still alive from that, because I was actually looking at my cell phone. I wasn't actually looking at the TV. If you're trying to look at the TV, do not do it. It is virtually unplayable. And that's really the main reason you want to do screen mirroring. So mirroring games on the TV is pretty much a no-go. It's only useful, I guess, if you really want to have someone watch you play your game while you're looking down at your cell phone. Which is kind of a shame. But as time goes, we'll see if this gets any better. It should. And the last thing I'm going to do is go to YouTube and actually show you a video. I'm actually going to try it from the web browser because because uh, doing it from the application is kind of pointless actually because uh, the Roku already has a YouTube app. If you wanted to try it from the cell phone, I'm going to try it here and see how well it works. It should work very well. So far, it's working like you expect. I'm actually going to go to one of my videos for copyright purposes. In this video, I'll be As you can see, it works very, very, very well. You can hear the sound. The the picture is almost spot on. It's the same thing as your cell phone. You're basically seeing the same thing. Super Mario Brothers 2. Now, for forty or thirty dollars, I wouldn't actually have this game. But the reason I actually have this game right now is because I got it very, very, very. It does pause the same. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the video so you can see how fast it skips. If there's any skipping issues in anything, but overall, it's a very good experience. I'm sure if there's other videos on the internet, they'll work just the same. They'll be able to play just the same. But the only real one I know is YouTube, so that's the only one I'm testing out at this point. I'm sure other sites have it and stuff like that. But other than that, it looks like video playback through screen mirroring works very, very well. Web browsing works very, very well. The only thing that does not work well, I would have to say, is gaming. Gaming is laggy. The Pokemon series in real time. As you can see, scrolling through the video is perfect too. Overall... At this current time, I must say, uh, screen mirroring beta is pretty much spot on. It is a very, very good thing, I must say. It's very, very good. At this current point, you can do almost everything on your cell phone besides gaming or any high productivity thing. But other than that, it's...